Well, this was a bit odd. So I'm in the forest region. I stumbled across a random encounter hotspot, which I already knew about. It's an assault encounter hotspot. But it it was Blood Eagles versus Mole Miners. Mole Miners don't typically spawn in the forest region. They're exclusive to Ash Heap and Savage Divide. My guess is some kind of coding issue. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind them coming up here. <laughs> but we were just traveling around. And here on the 95, or Interstate 59, stumble across Wilson Brothers Auto Repair. Check out Wilson Brothers Auto Repair. Oh, uh, they're scorched here. Any more? Anyone upstairs? No. Odd that this place is still scorched, but we'll get into that. I mean, I knew it was still scorched, but I'm still surprised that they haven't changed the enemy that is at this location. So this is, of course, a auto repair place belonging to the Wilson Brothers. We're the Wilson Brothers. There's actually no lore <laughs> to who the Wilson Brothers were. But here's their gas pumps. And then here's the uh, the main the main place. So it'll have four scorch spawned at it. Caution, you might get hit by a car. Uh, there is a knocked over table, there's a jack, a chair, ice cooler. There's a house across the street. Small engine repairs. They only did small engine repair, even though they have like one, two, three, multiple vehicles outside. This is possibly their tow truck, because it's a repair place. And then, yeah, three vehicles. But we don't know how many brothers belong to the Wilson brothers. It's a knocked over, destroyed Nuka-Cola machine, or I guess just a soda machine. Doesn't necessarily have to have been Nuka-Cola. And a big old dumpster and some barrels, movable barrels. Inside, there is a power armor frame. That's a bit odd. What do the Wilson brothers need a power armor frame for? Take that boiled water. Shelf covered in numerous tools and equipment. Dolly and armor bench. Sure, I guess that checks out. More oil stuff. If you need oil, good place to go for some oil. A toolbox that's locked. I was like, why am I here? Fire. Because an armor bench has fire on it. That's right. Some more oil. A giant teapot advertisement. Just tells you to go to the giant teapot. It'll add it to your map if you don't already have it. The giant teapot, of course, is all the way down here. If that logo wasn't there, there would be a giant teapot right there to show you where the giant teapot is. A radiation king. There was a Radiation King here in Appalachia. It's actually right here. Converted Munitions Factory used to be a Radiation King. And uh, I will have a video on that at some point. If I don't already. Bunch of bags of fertilizer. There's bags of fertilizer here because even though this is the forest region, uh, the event dog would drop off, will spawn fertilizer the Wilson brothers will spawn fertilizer at Lady Janet's I believe it can spawn fertilizer at Twin Pines and then and of course various places here in the Toxic Valley as well there's a locker there it's just a just a bunch of steel 
just a bunch of steel. That's it for... Oh no, an upstairs. Hmm. And a rifle. Some slide ammo. That's it for the... Uh, the Wilson Brothers... Service station. Just getting up on the roof to see if there's anything on the roof. There's not. But there are two houses here. One across the street. One behind. Let's go to the one across the street first. I don't know if this belonged to either of the Wilson brothers. But seeing as there's only these two houses here, it's probably very likely that it did belong to one of them. Another picker up truck. Nothing unique about the picker up truck. There's some purified water outside, along with two lounge chairs. A door that leads into the basement. We'll get to that. Anything under the floorboards? Part of the roof has fallen down, so we got to take this ramp up to get inside. So this is a settler spawn, or I guess it could be a raider as well. There's a phone and some lamp. Man, and some lamp. It's hard work a living here. The oven mitt is in the oven. A lot of non-special stuff here. It's just, just your average loot. Go upstairs. Here's the settler who's repairing this place. You a talking settler? Or are you just a? Uh, I'm looking for some supplies. I could use when I'm fixing things up around here. Think you got something I could use? Um, concrete or adhesive? Because yeah, he's repairing. Odd that he's not saying wood. You want some adhesive? <laughs> yes, that would be great. Uh, what can you give me? Um. Oh, it doesn't take my stash into consideration. I have one. Well, thanks. Uh, no, no, really. Every every little bit counts. I'm sure I can find a way to put this to good use. Somehow. All right. And that should also build us a little bit of reputation. My reputation's maxed out, so I didn't get anything for it. And he's got a bed lying up here and a bottle of bourbon. That is mine now. He doesn't need it. There used to be a child here. Now all that's left to do is go into the basement. Which, as you can see, there's a rad stag thing down there. <laughs> but I think what they did was they tried to separate it so that it's two deer heads on one thing. But obviously, yeah, it's just a rad stag. Tried to do the same thing with the Brahmin. So he has a ham radio. Or there is a ham radio. It doesn't necessarily mean he has one. There's two more uh, oil canisters. Wait, can I not? No. No. Oh, what are you doing? Turn my light back on. So you will have to dislodge them, but there are. Well, you can dislodge. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, I can still pick that one up. So they're kind of glitched, but if you need five oil canisters, there's at least five here. There's a dead cool downside. Or downside downstairs. And more steel. More scrap for steel. Now we can go up and check out the other house.
There's no mailbox, right? I'm looking on the ground. Let's see if there's one for this house, but there's not. But we'll go up their driveway. Dead end. So there's a garage here with a step ladder. A wrench. A toolbox. Nothing in there. There's a tractor. A bit odd because there's no farm here. It's just a uh, normal house. There's a birdhouse. Trash can, barbecue, some chairs, doghouse, nothing unique or special about it, septic tank, the lawnmower. on here they have two chairs from a car and then a normal chair we're good to go inside hey mothman museum poster that's pretty cool there's a bunch of chairs over here along with the door for the refrigerator and then the refrigerator is just knocked over they are uh, cooking and eating some food there's a key to a bathroom I already have it, so I'm not going to pick it up. And a bunch of candles. I got so many candles. Let's head upstairs. You can see a lot more chairs. And, uh, whatever this thing's supposed to be. There's a dresser. Bed and... This is a tiny bathroom. It also looks like we don't need a key to get in here. I don't even have a shower. Where are the Wilson's brothers showering at? After they get done working on cars. Uh, okay. Maybe they, uh... Shower with oil. Nope, nothing special up here. That would have been a great place for a secret, huh? Oh well. Now oh, there's another candle. The candles are lit, too. There's another one. There's a dead mole rat. So the Scorch wouldn't have lit these candles. There's a coffin down here. A blood pack? Oh, and a mo cult of the Mothman totem. Along with the outfit. Ritual bindings. So they stab the mole rat through the eye. Now we have this key. This bathroom key. Poor little guy. bathroom key actually goes to a different location. If you notice, obviously, the cultist stuff in the basement, but also a Mothman Museum poster. That's their little subtle hint of telling you, take that key to the Mothman Museum, and it'll open up the bathroom. And we'll do that when I do my Point Pleasant video. Now I think we're done. 
There's nothing else here for Wilson's brothers. Other than all these cards that I will look look over when I do my uh, my Roads of Appalachia series. Just go up on this little hill behind the place. See if there's anything unique or special. There's the railroad tracks. <laughs> the music just changing or restarting, I mean. Yes, that's it. If you do follow these tracks, you'll get to a travel random encounter hotspot at the end. Yeah, that's it.